What's up everybody? Today I want to show you how to make the best tea dry rig you can ever use. Why I say the best tea dry rig? Because with this rig you're going to be able to catch blue line tiger fish, golden tiger fish, vermilion snappers, yellow eye snappers, uh, rosa fish, you name it, you will catch it with this rig. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. Okay, first you're going to need some little material, some swivels and the copper sleeves. I'll show you now the ones that I normally use. Okay, first we want to cut the leader. I'm going to make my rig about 8 to 9 feet long. I'm going to have about 8 hooks in it. So it should be about 8 to 9 feet long, no more than that. I already measured it, that's what I have. This, is, this one is between 8 to 9 feet. It's not swivel for the sinker. You're going to need a sleeve. All right, go through the line. Make a little loop. Not so big, should stick out, should look like this, I hope you can see this, are right, you going to get your prim, prim tools, and crap. This is very important, make sure you do it only once, only crimp, only once. Make sure you do it just in the middle, one time. Don't go over, don't do it twice, don't do it three times, just once in the middle and that's it. This is gonna be for the sinker. The reason why I use the shipping ones is in case that I get stuck on bottom, I lose the sinker and I don't lose the whole rig. Okay, then what we're gonna do we're gonna get the uh, crane swivels and put them inside. In this case is gonna be eight. I'm gonna be using eight for eight hooks. One, two. Eight. Okay. Should look like this. So far this is what we got. The chip is not swivel with the crane uh, swivels. All right. Then the other side, what we're gonna do is, where is my rig? We're gonna get a barrel swivel, a heavy one. Okay, we're gonna use a bar uh, barrel swivel. Of course, we're gonna need a sleeve first. So we're gonna put the sleeve inside, the swivel, make a loop. Alright, should look like this and crimp it just once in the middle. Make sure in the middle. Alright, crimp it. That's it. Done. Alright, this is what we got so far. We got the cheap swivel for the sinker and we got the crimp swivels. What you want to do, the first one is going to be all the way to the bottom. Make sure it's all the way at the bottom. What you got to do is hold it in place. And crimp it. Crimp it. That's it. It won't go nowhere no more. All right. Then you're going to go about eight inches from the other. Eight to ten inches. That's how I do it. Some people like to go further away. I don't do it like that. I just go about eight inches. No more than that. Let me see. I'm going to get my tape measure to make sure. There you go. That's what it is. About eight inches. And then hold it and crimp it. All right. Let 
when I do this, when I do another, every eight inches, I do one. So I don't need the tape measure no more. So what I do is this, make sure it's in the middle, like right there. Hope you guys can see this. That's what I do, bum bum, and cramp. Repeat. That's it. This is how it looks like. <laughs> okay, I use two big hooks. One is going to be all the way to the bottom, and the other one is going to be all the way to the top. So let's do the bottom one first. And the sleeve. It's enough. You want to always leave a little loop, not so big, not too small, about this size. Ramp it. All right, that's good. So now you want to cut your line right at the other swivel, right there, right at the other swivel. You don't want to go over. You don't want to make it longer. Just you want to you want it to stop right here before you get to the other hook. All right, leave a little loop for the hook to be free like this. Sure in the metal and crap. Alright, this one's done. We got the big boy. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So now we got one all the way to the bottom, one all the way to the top. So we're gonna do the ones in the metal now. So you want to repeat the process, but this time with the smaller hook. So get your sleeve to a print swivel. a little loop and crimp. Okay, you're gonna go to the other swivel and stop right there, right on top of it. Make sure it's right there and cut it. I'm gonna use the sleeve. You want your hook to move freely, a little loop, and cramp. So we're going to repeat the process over and over. The main reason why I'm using the big hooks, one all the way to the bottom and another one all the way to the top, is for because the little guys, the little fish, normally don't let the big fish eat. 
they're very aggressive. They're normally more aggressive than the, lead, the, the big guys. So what you want to do, you want to have big bait, like a big chunk of bonita, a real big squid, whatever it is, big. That way the little guys won't be able to eat it. For example, you're fishing blue line tile fish. So you're about 400 feet. You, you're fishing for blue line tile fish. This is going to be the perfect hook. Now, what happens if it's a big grouper around? So the grouper will be able to eat this, will normally take the big bait. The, the grouper, will, it, will, it might eat the little one, but you're going to be ready. You got the 200 pound uh, liter on it. But anyway, the, the grouper might, normally they, they will go for the big, big bait. So you're going to be ready for it. Also, if you're fishing for like golden tile fish and there's roses around, the rosy fish, they're very aggressive. The same thing, they wanna eat the bait way before they're the golden tile fish. So that's why you wanna have a big chunk of bait. That way the roses won't be able to eat it. They have a big mouth, sometimes they will eat it, but well, anyway, you wanna have a big chunk of bait for the big golden tile fish, all right? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a like and maybe subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next. Thanks for watching. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, look at this. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that. Holy I got rosies. I got some rosies. Oh my God, I have a bunch. Oh my God. Mira esto, mira esto, mira esto. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. I don't play around, boy. Look at this, look at this. We should see it already, almost. I see it, a golden. I Go. think it's a golden. Yeah, it's a golden. Big golden, big golden, boy. Yeah, man, I think it's a golden. It is a golden, yeah, a monster golden. Get it, get it, get it, get it, it's a monster golden. Oh, oh my. Huge fish. Check this out. My biggest golden ever. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this monster. Damn. That's the biggest one I've ever caught. Yeah, it's a good size. Shoot.